morning guys we are kid free might I add currently on the road we're heading down to bunker house uh, you probably haven't seen too much of bunker house because obviously in ISO I haven't had a chance to get down there and help Neil but I'm normally a little bit more involved in our builds um, but yeah I've kind of gotten out of this one because I'm pregnant obviously so there's not much heavy lifting that I can do on site. Alright guys, up here on the roof, you can see behind me the steel fixes are going hard. Chucky was still in, we've had a lot of intricate details on this. You can see there's ups and downs, beams, there's big void openings. We've got a pop-up roof Sorry. coming up here. So we're hanging out on top of the roof that epic view. Well, I am, but Neil's always admiring the surf. Let's be honest. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I so love these bricks. Yeah, so where we are here is basically straight under this big glass um, void. void. This so is going to be epic once this is stripped. There'll be so much light in here. You can see we've got a nice detail nesting in here. So you basically see the all form concrete and we've framed it all. Wrap it down in the floor. So these pillars we all sanded up, polished and oiled. Not oiled. No, they're definitely not oiled. No, they're not oiled. <laughs> no, I said that sealer. <laughs> uh, we use a penetrating sealer to bring out all the... The, the, the old polish. penetrating sealer, eh? <laughs> uh, um. I'll just walk you guys through to this view. So this is the floor we're going to have all of the bedrooms on. And this is what we are going to be looking out to. Imagine less all of the views. The views speak for themselves. <laughs> is it? Saddle back now. Saddle back. Road back down over there. No, but honestly, you would never get sick of this view. It is amazing. So Every time right. we come here. And can you tell me about this um, splay detail that's going on here? Um, so all the, the joins have been lined up perfectly and we first did this on um, Revit to make sure that everything was going to be accurate. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to take it in, but yeah. So I've anyway, done a good job? Yeah, so we were thinking about this when we were doing the groundwork. We actually had to think about that, that far in advance to make sure it was all going to be smooth sailing. This, <laughs> this, <laughs> that f the drips and bits and pieces like that is really easy to fix. I'll show you guys how I do that later in the construction once all of the mess is gone. But basically, it's just a matter of getting some 25, uh, 120 grit sandpaper on an orbital and we'll sand up all the concrete and it'll take off all these imperfections and all of these stains. We can also use a bit of bleach, 50-50 uh, water and bleach to get rid of any other tenant stains. So I'll show you all those tricks and then basically at the end of the job, once we're about to furnish, I'll 